And you always remember this. Jealousy, people jealous of you, comes with success. So anytime you're successful, people gonna be jealous of you. When people are people not always gonna like you. Sometimes when you're in class, some people don't like you when you're in school, right? But that don't stop you from going, right? And you still go there and be your best, right? It's so the same thing like my job. I still go there and do, be, be at my best. As long as you love me, can't, as long as you love me, can't nobody beat me. You hear that? You hear that? As long as you love me, can't nobody beat me. You know what I'm saying? That's love right there. That I felt that. I really felt that, man. You know, that's something money can't buy. Money can't buy true love, and that's true love. I love the way Floyd was putting her up on game. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you got children, if you got a daughter, you understand what I'm talking about. That's your baby girl, man. That's your baby girl right there. You'll do anything for your baby girl. You know? And I'm so glad that they done patched things up. You know what I'm saying? Um, that, that's Floyd's baby girl, bro. You know, his firstborn. And... Um, I know Floyd didn't really like like when she got with NBA Young Boy. You know what I'm saying? I know he he was worried about her. I don't blame him. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's a wild dude, you know. And not to shade NBA Young Boy, you know what I'm saying? But we were all young once, and we do crazy shit when we young. And you know how these rappers dying? These rappers are dying. These rappers t t today are dying so young, and they are full of drugs, man. And the rap game is the devil. The rap game is satanic, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I understand how Floyd felt about his daughter with NBA Youngboy. That dude is young. He don't even know what he's doing, man. At this young age, if he lived to be 35, he going to look back at the time when he was 20 and be like, I was a crazy, wild motherfucker. I was wild as fuck. I'm surprised I lived to be this long. You know what I mean? Like, we are all at states, at different states in our life, man. We go through different states in our life. Floyd went through it when he was young. I'm pretty, you know what I'm saying? What they... Floyd probably saw his dad and his uncle beat up women. That maybe influenced him to hit women. You know what I'm talking about? You know, he, he, he reacted to what he saw. I mean, he learned from what he saw growing up. You know, we all got to grow out of, out of uh, what we were conditioned to be raised by. At some point, we got to grow. We got to grow. We all, life is about leveling up. Life is about going to that. It's like a video game. We level up, bro. We we on this level when we first start playing. Then we go to this level. Then we move to this level. That's a part of growing. So NBA young boy got got some growing to do. Y'all y'all got some growing to do. You know we all still grow in our own ways. And you know, but I'm so glad that uh. Cause I know there was a lot of turmoil. There, it, it was one point that it was, it was a, uh, it was stated that uh, that Floyd Mayweather had deleted all of Ayana's pictures, Money Yaya pictures off his Instagram. I think this this was at the time when Money Yaya was getting into trouble. I think she, that's when she stabbed the girl. At that point in time, when she, you know, what I'm saying when she stabbed the girl, maybe it was before the end, but. Hurt him and Yaya was on bad terms. They wouldn't see an eye to eye. I think Floyd forbid her to see young NBA young boy anymore. Forbid her to go by near him because he knew that boy was trouble. 
And Yaya was like, I'm grown. You can't tell me what to do. I, this is my life. I'm going to live my life the way I want to live it. You can't tell me what to do. I, I care for him. I'm going to do what I want. He the man I want to be with. So they got in an argument, and Floyd kicked her out the house. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty sure this is what happened. Floyd maybe kicked her out, deleted all the pictures. You ain't my daughter no more and all. I don't know. Some to some like that. They was pit, they was beefing with each other. Her and her dad was not seeing eye to eye, and it all had to do with how she was living because Floyd wanted the best for his daughter. He didn't see NBA Youngboy as the best. He wanted his he. he he held his daughter up in high esteem like, no, that's not what I envisioned. That's not the band I envisioned you for. Not that. I raised you better than that. I ain't, uh-uh, what you doing? You downgrading the life, your lifestyle. I wanted you to be with somebody, you know what I'm saying, that has more self-respect than that. Somebody that's positive. Somebody that's living a positive life. Like one of these good college boys. You know, I, I, I think Floyd should have sent her to college. To be honest with her. To be honest with you. I think he should have sent her to college. Maybe she wouldn't have uh, got with NBA. But I don't know. Who knows? But uh, Floyd wanted her to be with somebody, you know, less dangerous. I'll put it that way. A lot less dangerous. Got something going on for itself. You know, somebody smart, you know. You know, somebody that 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 you know that that he can talk to, vibe with, that ain't crazy. NBA NBA young boy is the opposite of what Floyd wanted for his daughter, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, when your kids grow, they gotta make their mistakes. You know what I'm saying? As they get older, they gonna make mistakes. And Floyd knows that. You know. I'm just glad that they patched things up, you know. I love this picture right here of them together. Floyd took her out, took her on a date. I guess it went to some award show. Took her. I think she got some friends with her. I don't know. But Floyd took her out. I love to see. I love to, I like I love to see them together, man. I think that's beautiful. You know, um you know, I, I I just um, yeah, I felt I feel I felt Floyd. He wanted the best for his daughter. I feel that, you know what I'm saying. And and, and Floyd like this, if you going if you don't if you don't respect me, if Floyd like this man is my way or the highway, you know what I'm saying. If you feel like you uh want to be with him, he gonna well, he, let him take care of you, you know what I'm saying. Don't come to me. Let him take care of you. He, he, he the man. He the main man in your life. And I also think Floyd like the Florida cut you off too. I just got a feeling he the type that'll cut you off and act like he ain't act like he never knew you. You know, if you violate, if you really violate Floyd and and really upset him, um, really disrespect him, like Floyd, I think he has no problem with cutting people off people out of his life whether it's his children father mother whatever I think he has no problem with cutting you out but he I know he has a, a heart too he has a heart he has a heart he may be braggadocious and all that but Floyd do have a heart and I think uh, stuff can be forgiven because you see that with his father with him and his father relationship things can be patched up and forgiven you know, um, and I also noticed Floyd keep a lot of people, Floyd keep the same people around him for years. I've noticed that the same women are still around. The same of those same old relationships are still around from back when his kids were children. You know, so you got to be a good dude for those people to still be around when Yaya and them was kids. You know, I think you got to be, there's something got to be great about you, good about you. You can't be all bad, you know, like some want to paint. But, um, yeah, man, as you can see, this picture says, uh, 
we think about moving to Papa's house. So I think it looks like after she had the baby, it looks like uh, they patched things up. You know, because a baby do change everything. When, once the baby here, you know, it changes everything now. Now it, it, it's respond. He got to be the baby. Got to be taken care of. You know, and Floyd stepped up. Floyd really stepped up and, and, and fell in love with the baby. Fell in love with his grandbaby. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful man. Um, cause I think Floyd look at that baby as his. Cause Floyd seemed to be wanting him to have a baby for a minute now. But uh. Yeah, man, and, you know, I hope NBA young boy, uh, I hope God put his arm around NBA young boy and put a protective shield around NBA young boy, protect him, because he's just a kid, man. At the end of the day, we young, we do dumb shit, he a kid, he going to do some wild shit, he going to say some wild shit. But all these young guys, man, all these young rappers, Lil Dirk. Pooh Shiesty, um, all these little kids going to jail, prison, for murders. Man, they need God, bro. They need to wake up, bro. God. But, you know, it's, it's always meant to be at the end of the day. If you die, it's meant to be. If you live and wake up, it's meant to be that you was, you were supposed to wake up. That was your life. That was your life. That was your life's destiny to live and wake up. It was Tupac's life destiny to die at a young age. He didn't get a chance to get old. Well, that's life's destiny. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, NBA young boy, I, I, I don't, I don't judge him. You know, he's a wild young dude at this stage in his life. You know what I'm saying? If it's his destiny to die young, he will die young. You know, hopefully, uh, God protects all these young guys and, and, and make them all wake up and stop the evil shit that they do. You know what I'm saying? To themselves and to others. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, NBA young boy, I noticed he loves his kids now. He have all his kids around now. now he, that, that shows you the type of heart he has. He has a good heart, even though he may be doing some foul stuff. He has a good heart to love his kids. You know? So, man, God bless all these folks, man. Uh, like I said, I'm glad to, for Yaya and uh, Floyd to patch up things. You know what I'm saying? Because you can have all the money in the world, man. But it don't mean shit if you ain't got love. And, and that's what Floyd said. As long as you love me, nobody can beat me. That was beautiful, man. Peace out.